Welcome my dear students. Today we are going to learn a poem, one of the divine gift of God. Can you guess? Let's listen to it. Now you have listened to the sound of rain, right? Rain is a divine gift of God, one of the most divine manifestation of nature. Earth is blessed with air, water and other resources for our life. The beauty of a planet lies in its fascinating and wonderful elements like the wind, rain, seasons, etc. So here we are in the third unit, care for the morrow, which means if we take care of today, God will take care of morrow. Mahatma Gandhiji. Look at the picture here. What are the things that comes to your mind? Yes, you are absolutely right. In this unit, we are going to deal with the importance of nature, preservation of natural resources, development and its impact on nature. Yes, who is responsible for the destruction of nature? No doubt. Human plays an important role in it. No? So children, let's learn the poem Song of the Rain written by Khalil Gibran. Let's see how beautiful our nature is and what the rain want to convey with us. So first, shall we have a look at the biographical details of the poet Khalil Gibran. His full Arabic name is Gibran Khalil Gibran. He was a Lebanese poet, artist, writer and philosopher. He was born on January 6, 1883 in the town of Bashari in the Mount Lebanon. As a young man, he immigrated with his family to the United States where he started arts and began his literary career writing in both English and Arabic. In the Arab world, Gibran is regarded as a literary and a political rebel. His romantic style was at the heart of renaissance in modern Arabic literature, especially prose, poetry, breaking away from the classical school. He was a part of the literary movement called Mahjar. Mahjar means a place of one's immigration, it is a diaspora of Arabs around the world. His other notable works were Broken Wings, The Prophet, etc. He died at the age of 48 in New York City from tuberculosis. Now let's go through the poem. I am dotted silver threads dropped from heaven by the gods. Nature then takes me to adore her fields and valleys. I am beautiful pearls plucked from the crown of Esther by the daughter of dawn to embellish the gardens. When I cry, the hills laugh. When I humble myself, the flowers rejoice. When I bow, all things are elated. The field and the clouds are lovers, and between them I am a messenger of mercy. I quench the thirst of one, I cure the element of the other. The voice of thunder declares my arrival. The rainbow announces my departure. I am like earthly life which begins at the feet of the mad elements and ends under the uprised wings of death. I emerge from the heart of the sea, soar with the breeze. When I see a field in need, I descend and embrace the flowers and the trees in the million little ways. I touch gently at the windows with my soft fingers and my announcement is a welcome song. All can hear but only the sensitive can understand. The heat in the air gives birth to me but in turn I kill it as women overcome man with the strength she takes from him. I am the sigh of the sea and the laughter of the field and the tears of the heaven. So with love. Sighs from the deep sea of affection, laughter from the colorful field of the spirit, tears from the endless heaven of memories. In this poem, Khalil Gibran celebrates rain as a life-giving force of this earth. The poem is written in the first person and the rain itself is a speaker. It is described as something divine and characteristics of gods. Rain is a divine gift of God and it proves very blessed for the dry and the needy earth. 
read about the author which is given in your textbook. Now let's see the summary of the poem. Here the poem is written in the first person and rain itself is a speaker here. It tells that the rain looks like a silver thread when it falls down from the sky. It's a divine gift from the gods to nature who accept this gift as a blessing to nourish and nurture her fields and valleys. Raindrops are as beautiful as pearls and they shine like the pearls in the crown of Esther, the goddess of fertility and love in Babylonian mythology. The rain comes down has showers of pleasure and joy for everyone and everything. It makes the hills laugh and the flowers rejoice and all things feel elated. It has a magical power of transforming touch. Rain, a messenger of mercy in the poet's imagination, connects the field with the clouds high up in the sky. It fills a void between the sky and the earth. Raindrops quench the thirst of the earth and cures the ailment of the clouds by releasing water from the heaven, moisture laden. When it rains, the clouds burst and they feel relieved. This heavenly blessing work panacea to many problems. The poet has elucidated the majesty of rain through a picturesque description. The defending voice of thunder announces arrival of the rain on earth just as the king's arrival is heralded by the beating of drums. The rainbow with its seven colors appears across the blue sky after the clouds disappear, declaring the departure of the rain from the earth. The rain springs up from the depth of the seas and oceans. It soars to great height with the breeze and then returns to its source thus rain is caused by the cyclic process. Out of its scanning attitude towards the earth, this natural phenomena comes down to nourish, refresh and rejuvenate the flowers and the trees in a million little ways. The fact is that only those with a sensitive heart can perceive the soothing feel, affectionate nature and the caring attitude of the earth. I hope you got an idea about the poem. We'll go in detail in our next video. See you.